praying without ceasing. Have you ever wondered what the Bible means in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, where we are instructed to pray without ceasing? Does that mean that we're supposed to stay on our knees 24-7 and pray? Of course not. The Bible is not describing a formal or noticeable act of prayer, but rather a way of life, an attitude of prayer, where we are comfortable talking with God at any time and anywhere. It is living life with a deep awareness of God at all times and allowing Him to guide our every thought, deed, and action. In other words, we should walk so close to Jesus that we consult Him about everything and acknowledge Him as our best friend who we want to share our life with. When we are constantly in an attitude of prayer, it is life-changing for every part of our day is influenced by God's presence. When something awesome happens, our first thought is to praise Him. When in the presence of evil, we send an SOS heavenward, or when tempted, Jesus is the first person we ask to give us the strength to resist temptations. Praying without ceasing allows us to live our lives with a continual ascending prayer where we consult God in every life circumstance. When we don't value the privilege of prayer by rushing through, asking for help only when we are in trouble, we don't experience the true joy of communion with God. We also miss out on so many blessings. We need to learn to pray with patience, pray believing, and pray without ceasing. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we believe in your promise that we'll continue to pray without ceasing and we'll pray with you at any time when we are in trouble or in temptation. And we ask you for your help and your guidance and give us the strength and have the power and victory in our Lord and Savior to fight the wiles of the enemy and the temptations. Help us to stand firm with your word on a regular daily basis and to represent you and to draw closer to you and to come to you anytime when we have our needs and desires to do your ministry and your work and also we'll gather together every Sabbath, the seventh day, to worship our brothers and sisters and to fellowship with one another and to fellowship with you as well. And we thank you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. May God bless you.